uh, hi all welcome back today we are going to perform a small video on forward initial configuration and this is my uh, topology uh, this is the power wall to 9.1 and this is a windows host machine which is connected to management interface power wall to and this is a router that is admin pc and this is the inside network and this is connected to outside network Okay. I first I will go through with this uh, Windows host machine. I have already configured the Windows host machine with the 172.168.1.10 IP address. If you see here, IP con so 172.168.1.10 and default gateway is 1.1 that is uh, management interface IP. And I have already configured the admin PC. Uh, it's nothing but the router so I have configured the 182.168.1.10 with IP address so if you want I can show you that also yeah so interface is f0 0 1.182.168.1.10 so I will change the host name as admin pc Okay, so my Paul also using okay, uh, it's giving me a wrong password. Let me wait some time. So, meanwhile, I will pause this video. Okay, I logged in with the default username, admin, and password. So, first, we will check the uh, whether the system is configured with the static or dynamic IP address. For that you need to use this show system show system Info. so right now the device is configured with us dhcp so what we will do is we will configure with a static ip address for that you need to go to configure mode and uh, set device set device config system type static and then set device it's config system system IP address IP address with the management IP address it is 172.168.1.1 and the network is 255.255.255.0 and to save the configuration you use commit command or else commit force it will take time to commit the changes so mean when i pause this video configuration got successfully saved so let's see uh, the changes Show system info yeah we can able to see the whatever the assigned ip address is here and IP assignment is static so let's go to the Windows host machine and try to access the GUI okay use the HTTPS 172.168.1.1 IP address yeah and use username as admin and password as admin Yes, we are able to see the welcome page. Okay, so we have uh, seven tabs here. First one is for the dashboard, seven is there for uh, ACC, and third one is monitoring tool. 
and fourth one is policies so fifth one is objects for creating objects and fifth one is networks and seventh one is a device so first we will go to the first we will configure the interface uh, for inside outside and management interface okay so each one by one is a uh, uh, outside interface first we will configure that one it's a type 3 level 3 interface and the virtual router we have not yet configured and security zone still we have not yet configured so first we will okay go to the ip address tab and click on add so whatever the ip address what we have given here is 192.168.64.132 24 okay go to advanced and here management profile you can create your management profile here it's a uh, outside outside profile and uh, for for lab example i'm using all these http http standard and ping so if you have a specific requirement so you can go with the specific requirements Okay, so I have created an outside profile and link state link is auto and link state is auto okay. and that's it so security zone I will create it later and virtual router also will create it later so click on okay okay so interface for outside interface we have configured so similarly we will configure the inside interface as well with one by two so inside interface is one slash one To 168 one slash one slash 24 subnet mask and go to advanced and advanced profile management i don't have profile management i will create instant profile instant profile i will enable all these things study page study based on that and ping click on ok and click on ok so I have created a, a interface and first create a zones here. So uh, inside inside zone. Okay, I want layer three. Inside is one slash two. Inside is one slash two. Okay, click on okay. Okay, similarly, I will add one more thing for outside. Outside zone. And tab 3 is type of level 3. And add the int interface. Click on OK. Okay, we have created inside and outside zone. So we will create a management interface. Okay, for the we have already created in that one again go to that interface one slash one okay whatever the zone yeah okay it's automatically selected for one slash one similarly we will check before inside as well okay, similarly we can see uh, the zone is already selected as inside so, so good so what we'll do is uh, we have created a interface we have created a zones and we have created a management interface management so again for now what we will do is we will create a virtual router so virtual router is nothing but the it's uh, in Palo Alto it's uh, 
is a you know creating the roads for the inside outside zones so by default it will be a uh, default one so we can we can edit or as well as we can delete and we will create a new one first i what i will do is i will de delete this one and create a fresh one and default font i will add need to add the interface one and as well as two okay and i need to create a static routes static route okay click on add the static route destination is internet slow and slash 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 zero and interface is my e slash one that is my outside interface the next hop ip address is 192.168.64. that is my default gateway ip address and i will do admin distance as by default click on ok ok so we have done the interface zones virtual router and management interface so what we will do is we will commit the we will save the configurations so click on the commit command so it will uh, whatever the configuration changes we have made so it will be get committed okay configuration committed successfully so we'll close this one and we'll go to policies so for what we can do is uh, we can first we will configure the security security in the sense inside outside so from uh, in this example i just want to connect to an internet so what i will create is i will first i will create the rule so i will mention name inside to outside okay so then go to source source in source zone so it should be inside zone and in destination i i should have outside and application okay, i will leave it as by default source by default action it should be allow okay it should be allow so if you if you want to have a log settings you can make it as a log at your session start and uh, you can check uncheck anything you want to do as per your requirement so i'm creating a just a rule so inside to outside the source zone will be inside and destination will be outside and action should be allowed okay once after that i will create a nat rule here okay so i will mention inside to outside okay original packet that is originating from the inside zone and destination should be outside and destination should be it will be one slash one service is any and here it is the translation packet the translation should happen uh, interface address and interface is one slash one if you select that is 64.132 yeah uh, ip dynamic i'm doing a port translation here click on ok Okay, click on commit. Okay, configuration committed successfully. Okay, so what we will do is we will check the whether we are able to reach from inside to outside. Okay, what I can do is this is my scene. I will try to ping a dot a dot date. Yeah, I can able to ping. So let's see uh, here in monitors. I can able to see the 
packet captures session browser yeah session browser yes i can able to see session in that okay here okay session id is 2 time or 30 and to do from this direction cts outside direction outside zone okay so c 64.1 and destination is 64.2 yeah from this i can confirm that from inside network to outside there is a connectivity and i can able to see with from the sessions browser if you want you can refresh here Inside to outside. That's it, guys. Uh, I believe this is informative for you, and uh, thank you for watching.